हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस डिस्कस मोशन ऑफ सिंपल पेंडुलम यूजिंग सिंथी द टू डी फिजिक्स सिमुलेटर तो लेट्स एनालाइज व्हाट हैपेंस हियर व्हाटएवर यू आर सीइंग हियर इज अ वर्चुअल बॉल व्हिच इज हैविंग ग्रेविटी 9.8 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ डिस्क Now I am going to attach a light rod with the center of the disc to the point on the world. This point always remains at rest, and this point is connected to the disc. Now let us run simulation and let us see what happens. Now you can see the disc is moving in a circular path. And the velocity of this is increasing, then it is decreasing. Let's see the variation of velocity with time by placing a tracer to the center of disc. Now you can clearly see the velocity 2.94 meter per second at this particular instant of time. Now let's run simulation again. You can clearly observe the variation of velocity with time. Let's increase amplitude. On increasing amplitude, maximum velocity has also increased. Let us analyze the variation of velocity with time using graph. The graph shows variation of position with time. I am going to change position with velocity. Now you can clearly see velocity of the body is varying something very much similar to sine, but it is not a sine function. If I decrease the amplitude. Now let's see how the velocity varies. And you can clearly see for small amplitude the variation of velocity is very much similar to sine function. Lesser the amplitude, more will be similarity of the motion with sine function function. That's why we can see for a small amplitude, the motion of simple pendulum is simple harmonic motion, in which velocity, position, and acceleration varies with time in a sine function. Now let's analyze how the forces are acting on the pendulum. Let's place the pendulum here. Now I release it. And you can clearly see the variation of tension with time. The tension is maximum at bottom because tension is equal to m g plus m d square upon r, that is centrifugal force. And at bottom, centrifugal force is maximum. Now, greater the speed, greater will be the centrifugal force, and greater will be the tension at bottom. Try decreasing the amplitude. If amplitude is small, the maximum tension that is at bottom is also small. On increasing amplitude, speed as well as tension both decrease. I hope you have enjoyed the variation of motion using set.